Find a peaceful and comfortable space. And each day is a chance to witness the beautiful growth in your life. I hope you're well. I'm joining you from the gym because I also wanted to talk more about fitness in this video because that has been the most consistent part of my morning so far this year. They say it takes 21 days to build a habit and we have really surpassed that. We're well into February. I've been working out with Copilot and being able to focus more on strength training this year. So I thought I'd share an insight into today's workout before I go more into who Copilot are. For today, we start off with an incline walk. My coach wrote out three sets for me to go through, two of which included weights, which I've really started to enjoy and I think slightly get better at, and finishing off with some stretching. In my 20s, I've definitely struggled with staying consistent with working out and having a healthy mindset towards that. And I think a lot of it has come from not really knowing what works for my body or what I really enjoy doing. When I was younger, I would do a lot of running. I also did martial arts and that was super easy because it was just something that I did every week and I didn't really think too much of it. But since I was in university, I think I tried so many different means of working out and also didn't have the best mindset towards it because it would always be like, oh, I want to look a certain way or I don't feel super comfortable in my body. Instead of finding finding ways to incorporate fitness into my everyday life that I find enjoyable and was also good for my mental and physical health. I feel like I've tried it all, I've done like the intense HIIT classes and at-home workouts, Pilates, reformer, going to the gym but then not knowing what to do at the gym and not feeling super comfortable and this is where Copilot has really honestly like changed my life for me and made working out something that is so fun and so easy. Copilot combines the personalization and accountability of having an in-person coach with the flexibility of technology and it all being online and with an app. I had my initial onboarding call with my coach Jill in December to discuss what my goals were and my relationship with exercising and I told her I really wanted to focus on strength training as that is something that I wanted to try but didn't really know what exercises will work well for my body, knowing what kind of weights to be using and what kind of exercises pair well with each other. She created a tailored plan of three days of strength training a week and now that we're in February, I've just started my second cycle and I did not miss a single workout last month and for that I am so proud of myself. Honestly, having Jill be there if I need, like I can send her a message, she sends me motivational texts like in the morning. That is the accountability that I think has really helped me stay consistent with working out and really build this routine and I can also already notice a difference in my strength seeing the different weights that I'm now using seeing how I feel after a workout I've also been using an Apple watch to track my workouts and it pairs perfectly with Copilot so Jill can see all my strain and my like heart rates and stuff as I was doing the workout but you can also just use it with your phone directly, you don't have to have that. And also, if you're not comfortable with working out at the gym or prefer to work out from home, you can ask your co-pilot coach to tailor it towards you. Everything is designed to be personalized and just really make fitness easy for you. I'm really excited to see how this progresses and just going into fitness with the idea of creating long-term, sustainable, healthy routines. Copilot has just really helped kind of kickstart this year and I cannot, cannot recommend them enough. Of course, I have a link for you guys. I'll put it here and down below, but you can get a 14 day free trial. This is the perfect way to get a taste of what it's like to have a co-pilot coach, see if it works for you and just wishing you guys all the best on your fitness journeys. I have really enjoyed all the progress I've made so far and just, you know, excited to see where it goes.
time to make my morning coffee, which is one of my favorite parts of the day, simple pleasures. I've been told many, many times that drinking black coffee on an empty stomach really isn't good for you, so I'm trying to get out of that habit. I did drink some water at the gym, of course. I'm also gonna make myself a smoothie. I'm still kind of recovering, so I'm gonna put some like ginger and lemon in it. In the mornings, I like to listen to a podcast, something that is a little bit more educational. I've been really enjoying the Hooverman Lab podcast. Also Jay Shetty, but there's something about him that I find a little bit off. No hit. I mean, I'm sure he's a really lovely guy. The one that I've been really enjoying is the David Zweiner podcast. If you're interested in art and art history, a lot of the independent galleries have really amazing podcasts. You know, the Whitechapel Gallery has one. The Getty. I'm currently halfway through the episode with Jonathan Anderson. It's been a really interesting conversation also about fashion and his role at Loewe, and he's Northern Irish. The, the skill level that goes into him is, is mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think fashion can be um, an incredible type of art form. Mm. So I've been wondering why my coffee hasn't come out and it's been like five minutes. No water, no water. I didn't put any water in it. In the meantime, let me make myself some juice. of the video where I sit on my nice dining table in my nice chair and enjoy my beverages and do my journaling there but I still have not found said table so luckily I'm very comfortable on the floor I mean I could sit on my sofa but it's a dangerous game whenever I'm drinking coffee I'm gonna do a taste test I think I should add some honey yeah. actually banana is kind of sweet one of my favorite and longest routines has always been journaling in the morning. Sometimes I like to do it in the evening, but I find in the morning it's perfect to really just clear your mind from any external thoughts and feelings that are gonna make you more like procrastinate the tasks that you have to get done during the day or things that you might be thinking whilst you're at work or you're at school. On an everyday basis, I just like to write and it doesn't have to be three pages it can be like one paragraph and also sometimes i like to do more structured journal prompts like the one that i showed in my last video this usually comes more at like the end of the month or at times whenever i want to really like take track of how i'm doing or like things that i want to work on i have been keeping a journal pretty consistently since i was about eight or nine years old all my like childhood and teenagehood journals are at my parents' house and whenever I go back for Christmas I usually read a little bit and it just makes me laugh like some of the things I used to stress about or obsess over but at the same time I think it's super nice to have this history sort of documented of my life and of how I've been thinking and feeling. I know in this age like we grow up with such like a digital footprint and if you want you can kind of trace back moments and if you're like consistent with like taking videos or photos like you kind of always have a record or something things that you write and taking note of how you feel sometimes you don't convey those things in photos or videos and it's really special to be able to look back and also see how far you've come what if someday you want to have a memoir about your life and you realize wow this whole time i should have journaled so now i have things to draw on well at least do it for the content and for the plot. Hmm. Time to get dressed for the day. I've kind of just been in a uniform of jumpers and jeans, like cashmere jumpers. That sounds really bougie. Good quality staple, you're gonna have it for your whole life. So I think it's definitely something that you can find very easily secondhand on Vinted. This was on my bathroom floor. Not how you should treat your clothes. But I think I wanna wear this one, which is brown. And it's from a French brand called Trico, and I'll wear like a white t-shirt underneath. Okay. Everyday makeup. I'm just gonna use my glasses to push my hair back. Starting off always strong, 
Glossier Future Dew. I'm really sorry I subjected you to my nasally voice. I wanted to wait until I felt better, but I just haven't really been getting better. I just started using this and I really, really like it. It's a tinted moisturizer with SPF. The only thing I don't understand is if it's like universally one color because it's a little bit light. If I need a little bit more coverage, maybe just under the eyes. I have a few pimples, but my fringe will cover those. It's probably why I have pimples. I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G It. This is size Dew Blush in Spicy, and it's a really warm, almost brown. It's super pretty. Last step is brows. I'm using the Dior Show Brow Styler in Grey Brown. And then over that, I'll use Boy Brow. And that's that. Makeup. No, I just need to style this. I'm a low maintenance girl. This is a high maintenance thing. And some days it works, some days it doesn't. Today, it's kind of okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture using my straighteners. If I need to control some frizzy hairs, because I do get a lot, I just use a little bit this way, matte pomade. Smooth things down a little bit. Okay, time to leave. I'm gonna do the French way. Well, I actually don't know that many French people eat croissants every single day, but I'm gonna pick up a croissant and a pan of chocolate and a coffee guess I'm reading in before my first meeting and that's our morning Bonjour uh, Je prends juste un croissant et uh, un café Thank you guys for being here this morning. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Copilot here for 14 days of free personalized fitness.